Happy Saturday, church. Welcome to those watching by YouTube. We love you. We love you. Everybody loves you. That is so good. We're going to sing As the Deer tonight, it's a, you know, this afternoon. And uh, waiting for more people to show up, maybe. We've got a lot of maybes in the house, so the place may be full of maybe we'll just sardine it tonight. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll have a lavish table for us. Amen. Let's pray real quick for tonight. And uh, welcome the Holy Spirit here to do his work. Answering a heart of worship. Thank you, Father, for tonight. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. We thank you for your faithfulness, God. And we thank you that you are our sure foundation, Lord. And we just thank you so much for, for the work that you're doing in our hearts and helping us with our life, Lord God. And we just ask that you would be in the midst of uh, all of us tonight, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, may your name be praised. Amen. for thy glory, Lord God. Pray that our sights will be turned to the kingdom, Lord, of eternity, Lord, to thy Son. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the cross and the gospel, Lord God. Pray that we would be restored in thy presence in thy house, Lord God. The saints gather together at thy river. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. 
Alright, we're going to watch um, something today. It's a little bit, a lot shorter than last week. <laughs> and we're going to eat right now and then we're going to get into the Word a little bit later. And it's going to be um, a couple places. Just to give you a quick sample of where we're going, it's going to be Romans 11 and Zechariah 11. It's the 11-11 night. <laughs> so you can thumb me, get your thumbs in there if you want to later on or just do it when we get into it and see if that's where the Lord will end up with tonight. <laughs> So as soon as we start talking, you never know where it can end up going, but um, that's the goal. And I'm actually going to be doing a series on prayer, and maybe it'll start on the mountain, I don't know, maybe next week. But uh, it's going to be in regards to um, some, of the, some of the preparations we can do to our own heart, and our own thinking, and our own attitude before we move into the deeper places. And I started to think about that from last week when we were, um, we were talking about the whole message last week about... Um, how to describe last week's message about the, the law of faith and but I, there was one thing that kind of popped out that I kind of wanted to build on and it was about how in in the temple in the, in the Old Testament the, the people with the priests would go to the different different altars several different altars before they went into the Holy of Holies and uh, I want us to learn some of the old-fashioned ways the men and women used to enter in to the deep places of God um, by preparing themselves. They would have a brazen altar. They would have all these different places of preparation before they would actually be able to go in there. And so this way we will be able to go in, not prematurely, but we'll be able to go in for real and go in at God's timing, be able to not rush the Holy Spirit, but to go at, at, his, at his time, you know. The Bible talks about um, if you go to the altar and, and there's a, if you can remember at, at that moment that there's that you have ought with somebody or someone's offended with you, you need to go make peace with that person, then come back and bring your, your gift. Or leave your gift at the altar and then come back. You know, so there's there's different pers personal preparations for our own heart. It's a very, very powerful inward message and it's been really eye opening just to get a glance at it. And so I promised early on that a lot of what we're gonna be doing is, is focusing on a lot of the old fashioned teachings and so I'm not hiding the fact that it's that it's uh, material that's all been laid down years before and copied over and over and re and retaught for the for the ages for the church before. So it's gonna be just that on bringing the old, old story again and again and teaching us how to, to be as powerful in the Lord as we possibly can. Yeah. Amen? <laughs> it's going to be powerful. But tonight, it's going to be the 11-11, and it's going to be about the Bride of Christ again. So it's going to be really precious to see how, how precious um, that very thing is to the Lord. Amen. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and line up for the food. I'm going to pull up. We can meet in the kitchen, and I'll get the, uh, I'll get the roast beef out for us tonight. Hey, hey. All right, ladies first. Thank <laughs> you.